Hello, I'm Barry and welcome to another Barry's Views. So welcome to another Barry's Views and in this video, this will be my views on those classic 80s commercials that I used to watch when I was a small lad. So without further ado, let's start with this video. It is a classic one, obviously, because it's from the 80s. And it's starring none other than Crocodile Dundee himself. Before he was Crocodile Dundee, here is Paul Hogan. Everyone's talking about this really beautiful Carol. So I thought I'd buy her a drink. Carol! So in this video, I noticed when I was looking back that there was a lot of drinks adverts out in the 80s. What were they trying to say, that we were drunk at the time? Probably were actually. <laughs> but there you go. So here is a, another one of those adverts. It's by. Um... Turning that label. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Not tonight, it won't, they've just closed. <laughs> squirt, squirt, squirt. That's a hat trick. Anchor Real Dairy Cream, perfect for Christmas. And I thought I did the bad jokes. Talking of bad jokes, here's one for you, and I haven't done one in ages. Bloke goes into the doctor's with a mince pie up his bum. The doctor turned around and said, Do you want cream with that? <laughs> Whatever you've forgotten or run out of this Christmas or New Year, batteries, biscuits, videos, coke, ice cream, just about anything. So where could this great place be? Ding. Don't forget 7-Eleven. We've got it. All in one. So if you're missing something this holiday, don't go crazy. Go to 7 Eleven. Really? 7 Eleven? Because that's where you want to go and get all your Christmas gifts from, isn't it? Paul Hogan again. Oh. Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas, everybody. You know where I come from? We're used to things pretty hot around Christmas. I reckon you can overdo it. Still, we could always cool down with a couple of ice cold fosters. Mm. Tastes like an angel crying on your tongue. Come on, everybody. Nigel and Jerry are just going to set the fairy on top of the tree. Oh, good. <laughs> good old Jerry. Foster's the Amber Nectar. All right, why not? Sit a bit. On the first day after Christmas, my true love came to me. Left over turkeys. On the second day after Christmas, my true love gave to me. Turkey casserole that she made from leftover turkey. So where is this great place that we could all go when we're sick of eating turkey for Christmas dinner? If Christmas is lingering longer than you expected, we have a suggestion. A pan pizza from Pizza Hut with pepperoni, mushrooms, almost any topping at all, except one. Pizza Hut? Really? We could all go there for Christmas dinner for a Pizza Hut? A plan? Now, what do I get my cat for Christmas? Mm -hmm. 
And now it's time to do a bit of crooning. Oh, boom, 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 boom. My true love sent to me. Do, 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 And a partridge in a pear tree. Christmas isn't much fun without Paxo. Sage and onion, a new apple and herb. So nothing says Christmas quite like stuffing a bird. A disc camera makes a great gift. But make sure it has an automatic flash. Automatic exposure. Ideally, a five-year power pack. Automatic wind-on. Most important, a glass lens. And the button that does it all for you. This Kodak disc camera will give you all six for around £30. There are cheaper cameras, but then something has to go. The Kodak disc camera. A complete Christmas gift. I actually used to have a disc camera. They're quite good, actually, if I remember rightly. But now here's one for my Aussie friends. In Western Australia, they're dreaming of a light Christmas. Swan Premium Export. Swan Special Light. One taste, two strengths. Now, while I'm stuck in London doing some Christmas shopping, is there any way I can get around? Maybe, I don't know, a system of trains that go underground? Yes, even they didn't have that. Where shall we go tomorrow? Christmas shopping. If we take the tube to Oxford Circus, We'll avoid the rain, dear. See, even London Underground did a Christmas ever. And I'm talking of uh, London Underground. Also, during the New Year, we just had the New Year celebrations in and around the London area. They did this as well. Here's Paul Hogan again. Goodbye. Got some seasonal greetings for you, courtesy of the Amber Nectar. To make sure you all get home safely on New Year's Eve, buses are paying all fares on London transport. Mind you, if you're all going to jog home, I'll tell them to save their money. Cheers. So there you go. Fossers used to pay for the underground to be free during the night, up to its last train, and on the bus as well, every New Year's Eve day, which we, they still do. Well, Fossers don't do it, but in London Underground and the buses, they still do free travel for the party revellers. And that's today. But the only problem is, I wear some money, because normally nine times out of ten, There'll be drunk people all over the place and you'll be just a sea of vomit everywhere. But there you go. But thank you very much for watching. I'll maybe do another one of these uh, videos soon. And if you liked it, you know what you've got to do. See you all later. Bye.